the Juice Girl Show. I'm here with Kelly and I'm here with James. And we're going to show you how to make something healthy at home. Now, you like my banana whips, right? I love it. Okay. So today we are using the Champion Juicer, the Champion Juicer 4000. It is a juicer that also can make banana whips. Banana whips. You just put the banana right in like there. I have a little strawberry, so you can turn it into banana and strawberry. So you see that? Just pop that right in. Mm. So what do you do healthy for James at home? We try all kinds of stuff, right? James is actually pretty adventurous these days. He had a hard time with vegetables when he was little, but he's been trying more and more, and his favorite snack right now is romaine lettuce, which we're really happy about. Oh, well, how do you make that into a snack? Um, well, he just, like, actually eats the leaves. Like, I, we got a nice oh. piece oh, of organic, like a head of organic right. romaine, and then we pulled it off. He realized oh, wow. he likes celery, and the stalk of the romaine lettuce was yeah. actually really appealing to him, so he takes that as a snack for lunch. I'm showing everybody this. Um, Look at that. Now this is Yum. strawberry and banana Yum. together. Now you can make this into a banana whip. Now I'm just going to grab a bowl. And this is very easy. You saw what I did. I just turned on the juicer. And they're, both, a they're both frozen, right? The bananas Absolutely. are frozen and the they're strawberries frozen. are frozen. Yep. They are. This is so good. I mean, if you... And you turn this into a whip. Look at that. If you're trying to, you know... So I just want to try it real quick. Eliminate sure ice cream. This Stop. is such a substitute for that. It is, I, and I tell you because I, I don't really eat ice cream anymore. You want to try it? Let's try that. It's just natural. James, you say you like it whether you do or not. <laughs> no, he does like this. Kind of I know. Mm. Isn't that good? Yeah. Now, the thing is, I love to add I like butter. nuts and stuff. And this is real almond butter that mm -hmm. I got. Now, if you are sensitive to the different nuts where a lot of kids are, you can use sunflower. Yeah, that's sunflower great. Sunflower butter. Mm -hmm. Or you have cocoa nips. You can put some cocoa Ooh, nips on there as well. Oh, that's a great idea. Or some fresh fruit. Yeah, let me go in there and have a little bit more of that. So here you go. Easy treat for at home for someone that loves ice cream, but you don't love the butter. The short is talking about the Whole30. You can't have the butter. You can't well, have it. Can you have butter? You can have butter. You can have ghee. But you can have But not ghee, the dairy. You, you can't have, have milk. You can't have right. milk. So you can't have that. So for somebody on the Whole30, I wanted to do something that was Whole30 Whole 30 free. He just asked um, me if he could eat the rest. I love that. Yeah, he's going to eat the rest. It's so oh. good. I mean, basically, it's whipped frozen fruit. I mean, yeah. it doesn't get any better than that. I and didn't add anything else, but. There's no sugar added. Frozen you banana. You don't need it. You don't need it. And frozen strawberry. I put it through. This is the Champion. If you like the Champion, um, you go to championjuicer.com. Uh, if you like, it's also, I have them on my website since I use them so much. I've been using this brand uh, ever since I really got started. They're great. They're great. Uh, they are American made, which I love. They are uh, manufactured out of California, and I ride them like a Ferrari. I just, <laughs> I do, I do, I do all this stuff. Sure. So here's the thing: you got a great portion out of that too. So again, how all many bananas did, was that? That was t like actually one banana. One banana. That was one banana and a couple strawberries. So that's so great. I mean, look at that. That is, that is. I mean, that is a good portion size. Yeah. So if you like the banana whips, you can also do that. Um, you can have them at my juice bar in Stone Harbor, which I'm opening up soon again. And she is. Then she's yeah. back down there. I cannot wait. So before you go, anything going on at the farm we should know about? Any any big events coming up? Oh, or we're hunting event? leprechauns this weekend. Oh, tell it everybody. Is, it is the big leprechaun hunt this weekend. Oh. Yes, very exciting. And then we will be egg hunting yeah. because we have St. Patrick's Day and then we have Easter's coming up very quickly. So we're hunting for all kinds of things at the farm. So bring your kids down and, and come see and us. And where is the farm? Where is that farm? It's in Mount Laurel. It's okay. a, a, on, give, out, um, give that the address. Haynesport Mount Laurel Road. At 1105 Hainsport Mount Laurel Road. And if Perfect. you want to visit our websites, it's www.pawsdiscoveryfarm.com or www.discoverymuseum.com or www.nj-kidfit.com. And that's all the Discovery Family of Attractions. If you want to come see yes. us, you got kids, we got something for them to do. Come well, that's us. perfect. And uh, if she spoke a little fast, and you didn't, but if she spoke too I fast for you, you can always uh, rewatch this uh, episode. You can just rewind a little bit so they can you know, get all that information. I, I love the farm. I find it to be so tranquil. I love the animals sometimes. Because I know you, I'm allowed to kind of get back there and feed some of the animals. She gets we, to go into have... the horse corral with her right. compost and, and some yeah. carrots, and they follow her around the horse corral. Oh, my corral. God, I had like 20 of them, and I had something in my pocket, and one put their face in my pocket. Right in the pocket. That yeah, was no. so cute. They're but not shy. I juice there one day? Absolutely. We should have you juice. I we would love that. Or maybe make some kind of... Good treats for the good kids. Whips. You know, so, you can add cocoa powder to this. It's so good. Like I, chocolate ice cream. Yeah, so you can. Good. Exactly. In fact, you can add cocoa nips to it, yeah, too. Yes, so good. All those antioxidants. I have these. I don't know if you've ever tried this. This is paleo. I don't know if it's paleo friendly, but I know it's the Whole30 friendly. Have you ever had this? It is cacao, and it has some nuts in it, and it has spirulina in it. Want to try it, babe? Yeah, I'll try one. 
Mmm. Oh my god. I love that kale. Good. Good. You can Sweet, crumb, right? You can kind of crumble them up and put them right on top. So, again, if you need something to make for your kids and you don't have a juicer, you can do this in a blender. Mm -hmm. You can, but you just really need to have the frozen fruit. So, if you think there's going to be a storm or you're going to be in with your kids, um, frozen fruit, blend that up, and you get this little great treat that is good for, good and healthy for your kids and really good for you, too. Love it. Yeah. I love it. So, what else do you make for your little James over there? Is there anything else that James likes to eat? You know, he is he he really likes carrots. Okay. He's a he's a carrot kid. We also like to make muffins. You know, we do a kind of, oh, all kinds of like muffins, yeah. yeah, we do well, you know, we do pancakes, pancakes for sure. And we can do pancakes completely grain free with coconut flour and some almond flour and a blended banana, blended um applesauce, and then also just an egg, you know, well, just whip that up. There's lots of, I mean, lots of go to Pinterest, you check, yeah. you know, check it out. There's lots of things well, you can do. I can't say thank you enough. Thank you, James, for being here and watching. I love when I see you at the farm. And Kelly, I can't say enough how much I just love and adore you. You have changed my life to so <laughs> many fun things that we've done. And uh, thank you so much for watching the Juice Girl on our slumber, slumber party during snow the day. snow day. And uh, keep watching us. And we're here on Wednesdays at 1130, the Juice Girl Show. Thank you for watching. Stay warm. Thanks, guys.